been interested in these things, these weird little sunlight eating creatures? Well, like most living creatures, plants are made up of cells. There are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Eukaryotic cells make up every living thing aside from bacteria. Prokaryotic cells, like bacteria, don't have a nucleus, membrane-bound organelles, and also have circular DNA. On the other hand, eukaryotic cells have a nucleus, membrane-bound organelles, and have linear DNA. Eukaryotic cells are way cooler and more complex. In total, they're about 10 times larger than prokaryotic cells. Plant cell is one of these eukaryotic cells. Very cool indeed. Now go away. Shoo! Shoo, you foul beast! Now anyways, ah! this is the cell wall. Its main function is to act as a barrier. It can protect the cell from infections such as fungi. It is made up of polysaccharides, cellulose, and proteins. This is the cell membrane. As you can see, it's directly behind the cell wall. This is because its job is to transport in and out certain molecules. This other part of the cell is called the cytoplasm. Basically, it's just the interior of the cell. Next over here is the nucleus, which has the important job of storing all the genetic information found within DNA. DNA is what makes us who we are. It all makes us unique, except you. You know who you are. Look at you when you're shirt. Inside the nucleus is a nucleolus. Nucleolus? Nucleolus. Hold on, how do you pronounce that? Nucleolus. The nucleolus is responsible for making ribosomes. Next up are lysosomes. There can be up to 1,000 of them in a single cell. They have the important job of dissolving and breaking down waste. Ribosomes, on the other hand, do the exact opposite. Instead of breaking down things, they create things. They synthesize protein and RNA. The endoplasmic reticulum, otherwise known as ER, can be in two separate types. The rough ER is coated in ribosomes and is able to synthesize proteins. The smooth ER modifies the proteins and can create lipids. The Golgi apparatus takes these proteins from the rough ER and transports them to where they need to be. It is able to modify these proteins as well. The Golgi apparatus can also make polysaccharides and send them to the cell wall to strengthen it. These silly little goobers are called the centriole. It's kind of like a skeleton of a cell. The centriole is made up of these things called microtubules. Next up is the vacuole. The vacuole is the biggest organelle in the plant cell, taking up roughly 90% of its space. Its job is to maintain pressure inside the cell. The vacuole is filled up with water and is contained inside of a membrane called the tonoplast. Now at this point, you might be wondering, that's cool and all, but why are plants green? You were definitely thinking that, and if you think you weren't, you are lying to yourself. Well, to answer your question, that's because of chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are what give plants their greenish shade and are used for photosynthesis. Inside the chloroplasts, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide are used to create energy in the form of sugars and creating oxygen. Alrighty, now that we have all those out of the way, we can move on to the main event. Everyone already knows about this one? It's the coolest story now and probably the only one that you're going to remember after high school. You know it. You love it. It's the mitochondria! Let's go! The powerhouse of the cell, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! That's why I love to see! Now that I'm done talking about the parts of the cell, it really makes you think. If we're all made up of cells, then what makes us, us? If you get cut in half, are there two versions of you? If your cells get fully replaced every seven years, then are you a different person than you were seven years ago? Will you, as a person, currently cease to exist in seven years? What defines us really as us? Do we lack any free will and just follow what a collective of hive mind creatures called cells tells us to do? Anyways, this collective of cells is going to go browse the internet while listening to breakcore music for five hours. Okay, bye!